So we study neuroplasticity of peripheral neurons. We're interested in mechanisms that regulate their growth and morphology. I have always been interested in neuroscience, but my experience has primarily been um, in wet lab research. And so in Ben's lab, I've been able to kind of continue that wet lab um, under the mentorship of Eliza, but also work on bioinformatics, which has been a challenge, um, but definitely rewarding. I've been spending time training those students and working with them, and it's a load of fun. It's, it's great. And, and at UNE, there's a really good opportunity to train undergraduate students in the lab. And I find that really cool. Working for Ben, it's always been, I don't know, interesting and fun. He's a really great mentor. And from day one when I met him, he started teaching me instantly. And I became interested in his work studying uh, different ways of axon growth. And neuroscience has become a great interest of mine. We are trying to work at the forefront of where computational biology intersects with molecular biology. So before I worked at UNE, I spent some time working with bioinformaticians, and we were working out ways to figure out how to get computer scientists working well with molecular biologists. Now I'm trying to set up a lab where we are using bioinformatics approaches to develop hypotheses and then using the wet lab to test those hypotheses. So I'm learning a new method of data analysis uh, using bioinformatics. Uh, with my previous biomedical experience, this is the piece that I really needed to be a complete scientist. I especially like working with, uh, uh, in, in this lab because, uh, because of the students, because of the lab manager, they're helping a lot and it's just great. I'm a nerd at heart, so I'm a scientist at heart, but it's always, it's kind of good to know that you might be able to make a difference with your research, with lots of people suffering from chronic pain, uh, people addicted to opioids. I think it's really important that we try and tackle these issues.